and Burr with me, and we're going to be plowing with oxen. But actually, we've got young animals, and we call them steers because they're all less than four years old. So we've got working steers from Lebanon, Maine, Berwick, Maine, and we've got a pair from Falmouth, Maine. Got a pair of milking shorthorns, Irish carries, and two pairs of Devons on the far side of the dad's acre. So today, we're plowing up a former field to be used again for growing corn. So we have four or five teams of oxen and uh, some original early plows. Well, this is our late 1800s, early 1900s single horse plow, basically. It's an eight inch wide, it's a Leroy number 108, made in Leroy, New York, I believe. This is like a modern version of the 1800s plow. This was purchased at a yard sale probably 15 years ago. It would be uh, probably pre-1840, this particular one. This is the coulter, this is the missing part. And the Hussey Seating Company found one in their basement. And they've had it in storage waiting for service, so today's the day. It's exciting for all here to see all of this in use because it's not a daily activity here in our town really any longer, but certainly would have been back in the 18th and 19th century. It happens to be Mother's Day. We have a lot of mothers here. Only one pair out of the five pairs here have ever plowed, so that's a challenge. It's like having a baseball team with half the team that's never played baseball. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to swing all the way around and come back onto that. You want to do that? Yeah. They're struggling, one, because even when we put four together, the four of them are not pulling together. They're like doing this. So we think we'll, if we can get the four of them to go, it'll work. to all four push together. The poo was. Make this big. Ah. 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 